combining data from multiple tables is a common task in Excel, and it can be done in so many ways. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how to combine data from multiple tables using Python, Power Query, or using dynamic array functions. Write me in a comment which method you prefer. And now let's have a look at the source tables. In this workbook, I have three tables, each one in a different sheet. On the east sheet, I have the first table, and then I have a similar table with a similar structure in the west sheet, and I have a third table on the north sheet. Tables have been named east T, west T, north T, so we have kind of naming pattern. I'll be inserting a new worksheet and try to combine the data from the three tables. Then I click on the plus sign to insert a new worksheet, and my first solution will be using the powerful programming language Python. I'll be creating a Python function in Excel. This functionality has been recently added to Excel. I go to the Formulas tab of the ribbon, and on the Formulas tab, I click on Insert Python, or I can use the shortcut Control shift alt p Look at the formula bar. I have PY denoting that I'll be creating a Python formula. I want to expand the formula bar. I use the shortcut Control shift u and then I start creating a data frame, which is a container that will be storing each one of the tables. I'll name the first one DF1, and then I type an equal sign. DF1 refers to the East table. I hover over the upper left corner of the table and I click once to select the data. I click a second time to select the headers. I hit enter and I declare the second data frame, DF2, and then I type an equal sign. This one will be storing the West table. I click on the West sheet. I hover over the upper left corner and I click once to select the data because I don't want to duplicate the headers. I hit enter and I declare the third data frame, DF3. I type an equal sign. I click on north and this time as well, I'll be clicking once in the upper left corner. And now I declare the three data tables. I want to combine the three tables together. Then I hit enter and I give it a name, ranges, which is equal. I type an opening square bracket. DF1, DF2, DF3 separated by commas. I close the square bracket and then I hit enter. Now I want to combine them using a concat function, which is a function from the Panda library of Python. I can give it a name combined, and combined will be equal to PD, which stands for Panda. I type dot concat. I open bracket. This concat function will combine all the ranges, then I type ranges. I can hit the tab key, I close the bracket, and to commit the function, I hit control enter. I get a data frame, but instead of the data frame, which is a Python object, I want the Excel value. I can click on the drop list and select Excel value, or I can hit the shortcut, control shift alt M, and I get the data combined. Look at that, I have a little issue. I get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this is due to adding automatically a second argument to the first data frame. So if I delete headers equal true, and I delete the comma, and then I hit Control Enter, I was able to combine the three tables. The second method for combining the data from the three tables will be by using a VStack function equal v stack v stands for vertical this is a dynamic array function available in office 365 i click on the east sheet and then i hover over the upper left corner and i click twice to select the east table i type a comma i click on the west sheet and then i click on the upper left corner and i click once to select the data without the header i type a comma and then i click on north and I click on the upper left corner once, and I close the bracket. When I hit enter, I was able to combine the data using a VStack function. The third and last method I'll be using in this tutorial is by using Power Query. On the data tab of the ribbon, 
I want to create a blank query. I click on get data from other sources and I select at the very bottom blank query. The query editor opens on top of Excel. And in the formula bar, I'll be creating an M function equals Excel.CurrentWorkbook. An opening bracket and a closing bracket. Note that the Excel.CurrentWorkbook doesn't work with lists. It works with tables. And since I already have tables, then this function will work fine. I click on this check mark and I was able to bring the tables available in this workbook. Before combining them together, I want to extract the region. I select the name column, and then I click on the Transform tab, and I want to extract. I click on the down arrow for Extract, and I select Text before Delimiter. And because I have a naming pattern, I'll be using this capital T. I type capital T, and then I hit OK, and I was able to extract the region. Let's hit F2 and rename this column region. Now I want to move the region column to the beginning. I drag it to the beginning, and then I click on the double side pointing arrow of the content column to expand it. Make sure you take the check away from use original column name as prefix, and then I hit OK, and I was able to combine the data from all the tables. Now I want to fix the data type. I hit Control A, and then on the Transform tab, I click on Detect Data Type. For the cost and total, I want to specify a currency data type. Then I right click and I select Change Type and I select Currency. Now I want to send my data back to Excel in the same worksheet. I click on the Home tab. I click on the down arrow for Close and Load, Close and Load 2. I want to load it in the existing worksheet and I'll be selecting, let's say, cell Q1. When I hit OK, I would have combined the three tables using Power Query. I showed you in this tutorial three methods for combining tables, either by using Python or by using a dynamic array function or by using Power Query. Let me know in a comment which method you prefer. And if you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.